though. So I'm going to show you how to poach sea scallops. These are medium-sized sea scallops that I got at the local uh, fish uh, purveyor um, here. And they're really nice. They're fresh. Um, one thing you want to look for in your scallop is for it to have a nice uh, smell that's fresh. Uh, you don't want it to smell like, uh, what's the word, too fishy or uh, off, right? You want that really fresh ocean scent. Um, the scallops really should smell the same way fresh as they do once they're cooked. And most people are familiar with the smell of a cooked uh, scallop, and that's kind of what you want to look for. Um, these I just got this afternoon. Uh, they're quite beautiful. Uh, it's a pound. And so basically what you'll see is I have a pound of these medium scallops, and then I have 12 cups of filtered water uh, that I brought to a boil. And kind of as the water is coming up to a uh, boil, I've added a cup of quartered leeks and a cup of you know, medium diced celery. I've also added towards the end uh, some thyme and then towards the end as well two tablespoons of sea salt. I like to use sea salt especially when I'm cooking seafood and poaching it because uh, it tends to what's the word, fit with the, the sea flavor. Uh, and then I also have about uh, two cups of cold filtered water and a tablespoon of salt. Now I like to salt and kind of season any of the cooling liquid that I use for after poaching. The logic behind that is you don't want to kind of lose that nice vibrant flavor that the salt imparts, uh, it imparts it as you're poaching it, but also at the end as well. Um, you don't want to overdo it with salt, but you do want to have it, I think, you know, especially in a sea scallop. And so that's basically, these are basically the ingredients. Now I'm gonna uh, poach the thing. So one thing you want to watch out for when you're preparing your sea scallops uh, before you cook them is check for these little, I used to call them feet um, at this restaurant I worked in. Essentially they are attached sometimes to the side of your scallop, not always, but every now and then you'll see that. And basically they were uh, joining the shell to the scallop. And so you want to make sure that you take those off uh, before or you can just take them off after you poach the scallops, but they're tough and people don't really want to eat them, they're so tough. Uh, so just make sure you check for those and then remove them as necessary. So, welcome back. What we have now is the actual poaching liquid. Um, and you can see that the liquid is simmering. Uh, it's a robust simmer. So what I've done is I brought it up to a boil and then brought it down to a simmer. You don't want to jar your uh, seafood or anything you're going to put in poaching liquid too much. And so if it was boiling rapidly, you know, I feel like that would uh, jar the seafood and kind of make it stiffen up uh, way too much. And so you want kind of a healthy simmer uh, occurring. Um, and now I have the sea scallops. And so what I'm going to do is uh, take them and put them in the poaching liquid. And we'll see, we might have to up the temperature a little bit as the material is cooking. Okay, so I've now placed the sea scallops in the poaching liquid. You can see it's at a healthy boil. I did up uh, the temperature just a little bit uh, so I maintain that nice even simmer as the scallops are cooking. Um, again, the ratio, it's 12 cups of water and then I have a cup of celery uh, diced medium and uh, about a cup of leeks quartered. Uh, two tablespoons of salt and a few sprigs of thyme straight from my garden. They just, uh, the thyme has just started to grow back, so that's quite exciting. And then you have your pound of scallops in here. Now again, these are medium-sized scallops, so if you get scallops that are larger, you'll cook them for longer uh, than I'm cooking these. And if they're smaller, like the base scallops, they just go very quickly in your poaching liquid. But essentially, the poaching liquid ratio itself needs to remain the same, I would say. You can also play with your poaching liquid and add different things. Sometimes people add white wine, uh, you know, you can add garlic or green garlic. I like to keep it pretty straightforward uh, so that way I'm really capturing the flavor of the scallops and not crowding them out too much. Uh, I've seen people play with uh, other herbs such as tarragon goes very well with seafood and so, you know, I'll leave that part up to you. Now usually these need to cook for anywhere from, I would say, once they're in the liquid about uh, three to four minutes at most. Um, probably three is gonna nail it. Right now they've been cooking for just over two minutes. Uh, so I'm gonna stop the camera and come back in just a moment once I pull them out. Hang okay, on. so the scallops have been cooking for three minutes now. You can see I have a strainer here and that's how I'm gonna pull them out of the liquid. I don't wanna just dump them through a colander because then what would happen is I would lose the poaching liquid. And sometimes I like to reuse the poaching liquid. It's so flavorful and great and now it's scented with the scallops. And so I'm gonna save it by uh, just 
basically pulling out the scallops that are cooked. And I'm placing them in uh, some nicely seasoned water, ice water, so the filtered water again. And then I also have uh, one tablespoon of salt um, and then some ice as well. Um, and so there's that. Come through, you know, sometimes you have a little scallop that's running away from you, and I think I got them all. So I have that, and then let me show you basically how I'm cooling them down. So this cools them down immediately. You don't want to leave them in the ice water too long. Uh, so basically I'm just going to let them cool down maybe another minute or so, and then after maybe a minute, maybe two, I'll pull them out of the ice water and put them on a paper towel lined plate. Uh, for that way that the liquid can kind of absorb and then basically right before uh, You serve them. I would take them out of the refrigerator But I would store your scallops in the refrigerator until you're ready to serve obviously seafood doesn't like to sit out much uh, It goes bad. It tastes bad. It makes you sick. So <laughs> I would you know definitely practice uh, that approach to serving them. So here we go